Hello there everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here and welcome back to another Tuesday Teaching Tips. Um, and this week I'm going to be talking about play, I've been thinking about why play matters and how to remember to continue to play even in these online lessons. Um, I think it matters even more than normal actually at the moment that we continue both for ourselves and our pupils to be playful and I we're spending so long at the computer and of course what does the computer do it drains our energy we know it's it's a hard thing to do to deliver lessons online and I'm I was a bit horrified last week when I looked at my time that I've been spending on the computer over the last 30 days and it was something like 11 hours um, 11 hours a day on average and I mean I've always been somebody who does spend time on my computer because of the nature of what I do but I've always looked at my piano lessons as the place where I have no computer and it's just brilliant because most of the time you know I am not there touching a computer and yet here I am doing 11 hours a day now I have to say that um, looking at it this week it's gone down and that's because I was away for a few days over the weekend playing and my kind of playing was away from the computer I was out having picnics um, in the car mostly uh, because of the weather uh, or I was out walking in beautiful gardens and playing in that sense or I was just reading book but I was definitely or I was playing outside actually and doing different kind of things so lovely to see so many people here hello there welcome everybody um, so play is important for us ourselves as teachers and as human beings just get outside or get inside but do something silly do some playing and it's also important for our pupils as well but before I go on I want to talk about this book because this is Michael Rosen who is um, used to be a children's laureate in the UK and I was it earlier this year no I think it was last year he had a fantastic um, free exhibition of play at the Wellcome Gallery, Wellcome Institute and I bought this book which is signed by him and it's called The Book of Play, Why Play Really Matters and it's got things like, um, you know, well just be playful, can you um, ch set yourself the challenge, how much of the dishwasher can you unload when in one breath, so take a breath, hold your breath, see how many plates and things you can get out of the dishwasher, well why not? makes things into a bit more fun doesn't it but he talks about play here as being an intrinsic part of human nature and I completely agree with him on that and he says it's at the heart of creativity music dance song poetry and art and importantly he says it's a form of experimentation that loosens the often rigid boundaries of our very structured world allowing us to try so the the, the computer um is even more rigid I think than than before than in a piano lesson which would be face to face because we're delivering through this medium it's very very easy to get very serious about what we do um, in lessons and I'm finding that some of my pupils we've only got a few lessons left but you know some of them are, are, are sagging really under the weight of everything that's going on and the resilience that's needed sometimes to practice a specific spot time after time it, that they're losing the motivation sometimes to do it now this was happening yesterday in the lesson so I got a little playful maybe it was the fact that I've been playing over the weekend I said okay if you play that see how that goes this is what you're trying to do here and if that goes well I'm going to stand up and I'm going to do a little dance okay so he, he played this one bar and I stood up and I had a little very silly and he thought that was hysterical um so i said okay can you do it again and this time we'll both get up and play and he loved this idea so he repeated this this bar as it, exactly as i wanted him to but it lifted it and he got up at the end and we both did our little dances da, 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 or whatever um and he 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 thought this was the best thing since sliced bread and it lifted it from being this serious rather narrow um boring thing that he'd been doing before practice this bar until you get it right and all of a sudden he had a big beam and he had lots of energy and he was playing he was and he was improving as well so i'm not saying every pupil is going to want to do that 
some people don't want to do that but nevertheless I can still be playful and I can still celebrate I might I haven't got my ducks around at the moment but you know the ducks might come flying across or you know that we just even the little things like sending the stickers out um, and the emojis and stuff like that but I really enjoyed this idea of doing the little dance because it got us up off the piano stool <laughs> him as well as me which can be deadening in itself and we we just had a little celebration and of course, it, it just means that you just move away from that magnet that is the keyboard as well. So I'm going to be doing that more this afternoon. So that's my Tuesday teaching tip. Play. Play yourself. Yeah. I mean, away from the piano. I'm talking about away from the computer. Play. Go and sit on the grass and uh, run through the, 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 the long grass in your bare feet. Whatever. Something like that. But also see if you can bring some of that energy back into your lessons and stand up and do something silly just because you can and because it helps as well so i'm just going to quickly say again what michael rosen said that it's a form of experimentation that loosens the often rigid boundaries of our very structured world here's our structured world it is the computer and we want to try and loosen that a little bit and i certainly saw evidence of that happening yesterday so thank you all so much for watching and uh joining me today i see lots of people just going to say hello to a few people i think joanne was first on there wendy's there as well hi wendy nicola's there as well and jackie as well welcome both of you and uh ellery i think yeah that's my pleasure with my tuesday teaching tips ellery thank you so much for coming up and anastasia's there as well chris hi there folks and sophie's joined me as well so thank you all so much for joining me and I've lost the picture now. Um, and Anastasia is saying she's been cheering her pupils on this week when they've been struggling with things that have... Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? When you celebrate for them and they go, yes, I've actually achieved something. Fantastic. And just want to say um, hello. I think it's Janet, probably, from Milwaukee. Hello. Keep safe over there, won't you? Um, thank you all so much. And Fiona's there in Durham. Cheryl's just joined sorry Cheryl I'm about to finish but you can watch it on the catch-up and Judith as well there yeah always good to be silly Judith and of course you have permission full permission have a good afternoon morning evening wherever you are take care see you next week bye for now